Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft 1.7.10 series plus. We're in Rivendell right now and we are going to head out of here. We're going to go to the map here and we're going to head down to Tharbad here because what we want to do uh, is cross over into this region here, Enidwaith, um, or Enidwaith, yeah, Enidwaith, sorry. And we want to make our way in here because we want to activate the Old South Road Fords of Aizen. Um, because we want to be able to cross into uh, Rohan and go up to Isengard. Um, and then the next time when we go on a travel, we're going to head over to uh, Lothlorien here. But we're going to activate this area first so we can travel down here quickly. So we're going to head to Tharbad. And we will travel here. Oh, fast travel is available in one minute. So um, once that is ready to go, we're going to head down there. Hopefully we can come back within, I don't know... 17 or 18 minutes or so of traveling around down there. Um, we've been coming back to Rivendell quite uh, frequently, so there's a good chance um, that the time to come back is actually pretty low. So now I haven't played this game in uh, a little while. So um, I've forgotten a few things that we were doing, but I am going to head down there today. Uh, I'm just going to check around what's in here for now so we can get out of here. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go down there and check out uh, Enidwaith, which is, you know, we'll, we should be in, encountering some uh, Dunlendings down there, so we'll check them out. Um, and um, yeah, and just to be able to explore the train slightly down there. And I think that's about it, really. So let's see what the map says now. Can we go? We're almost ready to go here. 30 seconds. Nope, we're, uh, we're ready to go. Cool, so we're going to head there. What's up, buddy? Don't push me. Don't push me. I got to travel. We'll see you in a bit, buddy. See you later. All right, here we go. So achievement get between the rivers. Let's have a look at the, the uh, map real quick. So we just got to cross across here. There's a bridge here. Uh, we got to watch out for bandits as well here. Um... Bandits, and um, there's also usually, um, what do you call it, uh, Dunman here. Which way, where are we going here? We want to going to go this way. Right. Head this way. The bridge should just be right here. Um, Regan, son of Regan, has arrived in the area. You know what? We didn't bring our money with us, so it's not like we can actually buy anything from him anyway. So let's head off. I didn't bring my money with me. Yeah, Rivendell Wanderers have arrived nearby. The reason why I didn't bring my money is that because if we encounter bandits and they get the better of me, I don't want to lose a bunch of cash. So we just left that behind. So chickens always a um, target of interest because we do need the feathers to make arrows. Got to watch out for bandits here. Keep expecting to get experience from these guys, but it never happens. All right, that looks like the bridge right there. Should be just up ahead. Still worried about um, getting ambushed by bandits and losing a bunch of stuff. The one thing I do love about um, the area that we're going into now, um, let's have a look at the, whoa, we got orcs nearby. Probably underground, most likely. Let's have a look at the map real quick here. We're heading the wrong way. How do we get the wrong, okay, we got to go this way. I was going southwest, really? I guess so. It's cool how the sword lights up when the orcs are nearby. If it's an elvish blade. Okay, you know what? I'll uh, come back as soon as we get to um, the bridge at Tharbad. So I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the bridge at Tharbad. Uh, looks like we've got... Who are these guys? Rangers. I did find a... Uh, Abandoned house and picked up a few things here. Ranger of the North. 
cool. So it looks like we're going to be encountering rangers along the way too, which is nice. Especially on this side of the river. So let's cross the river. And we'll get to the other side. Now, this river you can attempt to cross with just a regular boat. More orcs here. Um, you can attempt to cross the river with a regular boat. I've always found it difficult at certain parts. Um, this area looks pretty clear, but usually there's like a lot of lily pads, and lily pads will sometimes break your boat. So we are in the Forsaken Country now, so now we've got, if we look at our map here, it's just opened up these, these locations here and down here as well. Um, so we've got this open to us now. So once our travel comes back, we can swift travel down to the Fords of Eisen. But we want to go back to Tharba, or to Rivendell first. It's 24 minutes, so not bad, not bad. So we're going to go in here and check out what's what this uh, terrain is like up ahead. And once we get in there, um, once I find some special features, I'll come back. But you can see here, the river is actually pretty clear at this point. But sometimes you get to a point where it's like full of lily pads and sometimes it's hard to get across. Um, but yeah, so if I find anything interesting, I'll come back and uh, looks like we got some guys up here. Who are these guys? Could be the Dunlandings. Could be orc. I guess it wouldn't be orcs, not in the daytime. Oh, just horses. Never mind. I take it back. All right, so we'll come back when if I, uh, when and if I encounter anything interesting. So I'll see you shortly. All right, so I was making my way along through a forest and came across a ravine here. And we're going to dig down because there's some stuff that we want down here. Uh, whereabouts? Right in here, I think. So, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of metals and stuff here, but here it is right here. Nice. Got a few of these gems. Good for trades. Four amethyst, not bad. So we're going to dig our boy back up, or just nerd pull our way. Oh, another one right here. I almost missed that one. Okay, that's it for that. So we're going to nerd pull our way back up. I'm not going to do a lot of mining. Uh, where do we come in here? Right here. There we go. So not bad. I mean, you'll often find these ravines. I like how the... Uh, the um, game generates kind of roads over top of them. Not always, but most of the time they do. Um, if I wanted to spend a lot of time down here, I could probably spend a lot of down here my time my down there mining and picking up a bunch of stuff. But uh, not right in the mood to do that right now. So we're going to keep moving, and I'll see you back when we find something new. Okay, so we've been going for a few more minutes here in the woods, and we came across our first Gondorian beacon. So these things, as you can see, there's a little beacon up on top. I think if you're doing team play or something like that, I'm not exactly sure how they work, but you can allocate these to teams, and I think you can teleport here. Not 100% sure. Um, I haven't really looked into it, but there's a Gondorian beacon there. So this is Gondor Brick, and I'm going to go ahead and mine a bunch of this stuff because I've been... Um, some of the quests that the elves have had have asked me for Gondorian brick. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of this uh, before moving on, just so that I've got some in my um, storage. Just going to grab the regular bricks. I'm not going to grab the uh, broken stuff. And um, just in case the uh, elves ask me again, that way I can just say, yeah, sure, man, I got brick. I'm um, going to try and grab a whole stack of this, I think. I think when they were asking me, they asked me for like 32 or something. So at least if I have a whole stack, if I get two quests, I'll have enough for two quests. Let's just ditch this guy. Um, pickaxe is almost done here. How much more do we need? 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Did we lose one? We did. 7, 8, 9, 60. One, two, three, four. There we go. Nice. Okay, cool. So I'm going to get back on the road and keep heading out of here. Now, I don't think I brought a bed now that I think about it, which could be a problem here at night. 
Um, let me see if I did bring one. Normally I do. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. So we're we able to sleep through the night without a problem. All right, so I'll see you guys back in a few minutes once I find something else interesting. Okay, so I've been wandering around for a bit. Haven't really found much. Found a few downloadings. This guy wants me to get oak wood, but I don't think... Um, I mean, I can easily get it, I think, but the problem is is I don't want this guy... Like, I don't want to be allied with the um, Dunman of Rohan or the Dunman of uh, Enidwaith because I think I want to get... Um, reputation up with uh, the rangers and in order to do that I've got to kind of stay away from being allied with the Dunman so I'm gonna stay away from them now I've just been kind of wandering around in this area right now because I've only got a few minutes left before I can transport and this area um, if you look at it here you can even see it on the mini map up there in the corner lots of sand and on the surface there's like lots of bare stone so, I mean, wandering around here, you can find, you know, a handful of resources as you go. Now, as you can see, I've got over a stack of coal. Picked up a couple stacks of sand, eight copper, and two tin. So I've been finding a few things around here. Not a lot, but uh, I've just been kind of doing that. This is a good place to come if you want sand. So if you um, feel like wandering on the surface, don't want to go and ruin lakes or whatever, there's some biomes here in Dunland that's, that have got uh, this kind of layout where it's like sand and gravel on the surface with stone. Um, you can find a fair bit of coal here too. Like I haven't been mining for all that long and I've got over a stack of coal already too. Uh, I know it's a far way to come just to get uh, coal and uh, a handful of metals, but um, if you want to explore or do other things, this is kind of one of those things you can do along the way. So that's what I've been doing right now. And we've got a few more minutes before we can go back to Rivendell, I think. Let's have a look at the map real quick. Um, yeah, we got one minute left. So we'll wander around here for a bit and see if there's anything else we can find here. Um, like I said, I've encountered a few Dunman already. No bandits, thank goodness. Um, but, you know, the Dunman have uh, not had quests on, up until we found that one guy there. So, and like I said, it's easy to do the quest, but I would rather not have uh, rep with those guys right now. So let's just finish this up real quick here. Grab a couple more pieces of uh, coal here. Yeah, you know, it's probably more efficient to go into a cave system in mine uh, than it is to come down here and get stuff this way. Um, but like I said, if you're looking to get rep with a certain faction and you find one of these areas, sometimes, like I said, I've I found a few Dunman around here. So it's, you know, if you're just kind of poking around like this and mining, you might uh, encounter a few groups that you can get some rep with. So it's not bad. Um, there's not much else down here, unfortunately. There's just, you know, rocks on the surface. So uh, let's see here. A little bit more coal. And I think we can probably go. So we're going to go back to Rivendell. And actually, you know what? Since we really haven't picked up all that much, Maybe we'll just head down to the Fords of Eisen first. Um, so let's do that. Let's just drop everything in this medium pouch. So we can we can now travel. Let's just put all this stuff in here. There we go. Put this back. And we're going to travel to the Fords of Eisen. This is kind of a tricky one. Um, because there's orcs and Rohirrim down here. So let's just hit it up. Now, the uruk will uh, be wandering around on the surface during the day. So you got to be wary of that. And at night, you'll uh, encounter different pockets of Rohirrim and you'll encounter the um, Uruk as well. Now, the uruk are far more dangerous than your regular orc. So if you are planning on going up against them, um, be wary that their armor is a lot tougher. And they hit for they hit harder and have bigger weapons, so you know just keep your eye open for that. But they do have the uh, cool Uruk sword from the movies, which is kind of neat. So we can you can uh, pick that up if you want to use that as a weapon. And yeah, let's see what else we got down here. Probably nothing until we get to the Fords of Eisen. Usually it's really close to here, so it shouldn't be too far away. So it'll be nice to be able to pick up a Rohan. 
because we can travel across Rohan really quick. Um, then we can get to Gondor. Yeah, so here we go. So all we have to do is approach the bridge, and I think we're actually in Rohan? Or do we have to cross it this time? In the past, all, all I've needed to do is climb onto the bridge. Here we go here. Horm of the House Horse Lords. So there's the uh, Rohirrim there. So we can get rep with them if we want, which is cool. But we're going to head up to Isengard, I think, um, just so we can get that area as well. Now at some point, we're going to want to go into the Misty Mountains to mine for Mithril. Uh, that takes a while, and you don't find a lot of Mithril very quickly. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to head up this way towards Isengard. And if I encounter anything interesting, I'll come back like I normally do. Uh, but until then, um, I'll see you at the gates of Isengard. Okay, so about after about five minutes of real-time running, we've made our way to the edge of Isengard. You can see here the Uruks and the Wargs. Did that Warg just disappear? Looks like he did. Maybe we can just engage these Uruks here. But you can see how they're bigger than the other orcs. Wow, that's a lot of guys all of a sudden. Um, but if you want to fight lots of bad guys, this is definitely the place to come. Isengard is just full of orcs. And not just the regular orcs, they're all uruk high mostly. There are regular orcs here too, but... Um, but there's orc camps and stuff. And if you're playing a bad guy, this is a good place to come. Because there's lots of quests and stuff to do here for bad guys. I'm just going to make my way along here a little bit. See if I can find a place to kind of penetrate Isengard a little bit. Um, it's tough. Like, you can't just, you know, like anywhere else, like, you just can't wander your, like, look at all the skulls here. You can't just wander your way into Isengard because they're just, they're everywhere. The orcs are everywhere. You, everywhere. you Look at, look at, like, you have to come in here with a raiding party is what you have to do. I don't, like, I mean, I don't, I would never attempt to solo go through here. I mean, maybe, like, even if you had, like, let's say, ah, oh, crap. Let's say, for instance, you, wow, what the, lag, damn it. Let's say you had a set of full diamond armor with max enchantments on it. Yeah, you might stand a bit of a chance in here. But you wouldn't get very far. After a while, they would just wear you down and kill you. And there wouldn't be anything you could do about it. That's the thing. So there's like, that's a warg arena up there. And I think those are like, like skull piles or something. Flesh piles or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, there's Dunmen here. Regular orcs. Urukai. Like they're all over the place. And we've got about 20 some odd minutes to wait. Or roughly 20 minutes to wait. So I'm going to do some wandering around. Uh, see if I can find a place that I can penetrate slightly into Isengard. Um, get a better view of what's here. Like, there's ore camps like this all over the place. Um, so, like, if you, like I said, if you're a bad guy, this is the place to come. I mean, I guess you could always, like, nerd pull on the top of a hill here or something like that to avoid wargs and regular guys. But like I said, they you know, they got... They've got crossbowmen and regular bowmen and things like that, right? So they'll just shoot you off the top of any pillar that you go up on. Unless you can, like, build a fort and armor yourself in there. And you then just shoot them to get rep to get rep with um, the Rohirrim. Let's see if we can kill one of these uruk here real quick. Yeah, see, he's got a crossbow, right? Stop moving. Come on. Well, I got Dunlending Slayer now. So he's taking four hits. The Dunlin the Dunman went down in two. Six. Seven. 
seven, eight. So eight, eight hits for Urukai Killer. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going up in there to see what they dropped. But you can see, I mean, I'm not the best uh, at combat in Minecraft. So if you're a good combat player in Minecraft, you could probably go in there and be okay. Um, but like I said, this is the sheer numbers. Like you get a spawn of 10 or 12 guys on you. Uh, and it's a different story. Because like those that guy took, I mean, this bow is a tough bow. And he took eight hits with the bow. So you're not going to at least four hits per, per sword. Maybe more. And if your sword isn't really great, like mine's plus seven damage, right? So it isn't really that great. So it's not like I'm going to be uh, being able to kill that many guys. But Angmar is pretty much just like this. Or not Angmar, Isengard. All the way through. I mean, you'll find some forested regions, but it's pretty much... Most of the trees are all cut down. And it's all stumps and burned wood. So... Anyway, I'm going to... Is that the Misties? Oop, there's another camp right there. Don't want to get too close. This might be the Misty Mountains, if it is. Um, I think it is. Anyway, Isengard, Isengard goes right up to the Misties. So, I mean, you could probably get in the hills up here and shoot down on them. Yeah, this is the Misties here. So, I mean, you could probably go up here, shoot down on them, and get some stuff. I mean, if you had lots of arrows, you could just spend the entire day here shooting on them and getting rep, but it's not really that worth it. Anyway, so we're going to... Um, I'm just going to wander around the Misties a little bit while I'm here, pick up a bit of coal or whatever, and... Um, gonna head back to Rivendell right afterwards um, but yeah that's Angmar okay well bandit attack this is the second guy I started recording after I smoked the first guy looks like it was only two nope another one down there here he comes come on buddy you know you want to die Let you get up here a little bit first. Oh, I missed. Don't want you to be too far away when you drop your stuff. Wow. Well, we got a little bit of stuff from those bandits. But there was three of them. Oh, that poor warg. He's on fire. Put him out of his misery. Wonder if we can sneak down here and grab this, uh, find out what this stuff is. Just don't want something to spawn on me. Let's just go, ah, uh, that work's gonna see us for sure. Okay. Let's go back up here and find out what we got. Oh, yeah, orcs. Orcs. There's a guy right there. Let's just back up a bit here. I guess they will kind of spawn slightly in the Misty Mountains. Yeah. All right, see what we got here. Well, we made, made 57 silver off the bandits, a waste block. Is there any use for this? Nope, nothing really. 
Interesting. Why do we have our sword glowing here? Who is close to us? That guy maybe? I don't know. Alright, we're going to head back to Rivendell in a minute and uh, I'll see everybody there. Alright, so here we are back after our trip. And I'm just going to empty out everything that we have here. Um, where's all our stuff here? Mostly over here, right? Yeah. So we got a ton of coal. Got some gravel here. Um, let's bring out this one because this has got all the other stuff we found. Excellent. So we picked up a bunch of things here. Uh, this needs our bed. Actually, um, we're carrying flint around. Let's put the feathers in here too, I think. Actually, you know what? Let's pull out six of these and we'll make some make some more arrows here. Okay, so that's good. And we need to put our copper and our tin away. So we found a bit of those. Some more of this that can go in there. Um, I think that's it that needs to go in there. Let's grab our change purse out and we can put in our mithril coins and our silver coins. Silver? Yeah. I should have just called these copper, but whatever. Okay, and these guys can go in there. We got lots of these now. Nice. Alrighty, so let's just put this back in here for now and then I think the rest of the stuff goes over here it's been a little while since I've played so it's got to make sure where we're putting everything yeah so this is where this would go um, what can we pull out of here let's pull this Certus quartz out because we have no use of it here those can go in there uh, oak wood planks can come with us put these in here uh, the gravel needs to go in. This is what? Great wood logs? Stone? Um, hmm. Let's pull out these building materials, I think. I think the chisel can stay in there, though. Let's do that. See how that looks. Yeah, not bad. Building materials. What do we got in here? Organics. Um... That's just snow. This is like weapons and stuff. This book should probably go in here. Bones can go in. Compass. We got three compasses now. Okay. Do we have actually sling stones? Pebbles. No. Nope. Uh, I guess we can pull out. Let's pull out those guys. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll put those in here. Oops, not these guys, obviously. Uh, where do we put the rest of the bones? Did we put them in here? We did. So let's put those in here. Bone meal is generally for, you know, for growing plants and stuff. So let's leave it in here. And let's put in these guys in here for now. Pretty cobblestone. Yeah, I don't have the room again. That can come out though. Uh, yeah, let's just drop it in here for now. These are really building materials. So are these? Uh, I don't know. Let's put these in here. Waste block can go in here. We're not going to really use it for anything, but might as well just put it in there for now. Let's get some sticks. Get a few arrows back anyway. So we use more arrows than we uh, have. I don't think we have any more arrows in here. Nope. Okay, so that's that. And um, so what I'll do, I'm going to end the episode here. It's going to be a short one today. Um, so that is Enidwaith uh, and Rohan. We, we never really got a chance to go into Rohan. Uh, the one thing I will mention though in Isengard, if you manage to get into Isengard, let's, let's say you're playing an evil guy or whatever, and you get into Isengard, um, and you head towards basically the the Tower of Warthank. Um, 
there's actually a big thick wall around that so that's kind of cool um, kind of like where we're going uh, very shortly to um, uh, Minas Tirith has got a nice big thick wall around it as well so that's kind of cool so I think what I'll do maybe between episodes is I'll finish building this base part here um, kind of want to make a little tower here a little magic tower so I'll probably do that between episodes get that done and then when we come back next time um, we will head into Gondor because now we've got uh, as you can see here we got all these areas in Rohan open that we can go check out. Uh, this one right here, Marrying Stream, once we cross this river, it opens up pretty much all of this, all the way up to Minas Tirith, pretty much. Um, we still need to cross from Minas Tirith into uh, Lasarnath, uh, Lasarnach, whatever it is, just to get these open. And then we got to travel all the way down here. Then we got to travel here. And if we want to get into the desert, we got to run all the way down here to basically crossing of Harnan just to open this up to be able to get all the way down here somewhere. So crossing this desert is like a nightmare too because during the daytime uh, you take the damage just by by traveling across it so it's uh, kind of a pain. But uh, at some point we'll do that. But um, So we might cross into Gondor next time and maybe into Lothlorien next time too. It really just takes coming down through here which opens up Dimrail Dale uh, and it also opens up uh, nothing up there. Oh, that's it. Just Dim Dimmeril Dale. And then we can just come into Lothlorien. We're also going to do Mirkwood too. That's a little, that's a tougher area to go through. So hopefully by that time we've got some better gear. I mean, we've got some pretty good gear as it is, so we'll do that. Also too, the Barrow Downs. they got some nice uh, places to fight and do some stuff in here too, so that'll be kind of cool. And then um, the Old Forest is kind of cool too. Uh, we haven't opened up Bree or any of that stuff yet, but there's not really much there, so it's really not worth going there. So yeah, so we'll end the episode here. Oh yeah, uh, Mordor. It's just a friggin' nightmare in Mordor. So <laughs> I was there once and I don't want to go back. Anyway, uh, so, but we will go back in, in, this, uh, in this series. But anyway, so I'm gonna leave it there. If you liked the video, drop a like, check out my series on my, uh, uh, my YouTube channel. And until next time, we'll see you all later.